This is a medical record folder that Su keeps around detailing his patients when he used to work as a doctor. In these records, there's also a personal letter from Dr. May that Su prayed he would never have to follow. These items are what define Su, the flame chaser considered to be Kevin's best friend. He have fought many battles alongside Kevin and has continued to support him all the way through to the new current era. He used to observe the multiverse for ways to defeat the Honkai until he got into a big fight with Kevin that ended up in Kevin getting stuck in the Sea of Quanta, where he would eventually escape by tricking a bunch of young girls along with an unkillable Hersher. Today's episode is about Sue's relationship with Kevin, which has got to do with who Sue fundamentally is as a person, and how this will push him into a breaking point with Kevin. Right here I have the second key manga where we would be able to read about Sue's backstory. The interesting thing here is that it's shown in the context of Durando going through a trial by role-playing through Sue's life experience, where she would generally make the same decisions until towards the end, but we'll get to that. So don't panic when you see familiar faces that ain't supposed to be there. So Sue and Kevin has known each other prior to joining Moth, but has since lost contact with each other ever since the Honkai disaster hit the city where Kevin was at the time, as I already went through in the overview. Ever since, Sue has worked as a doctor treating patients with the Honkai Honkai infection, at least that's what it initially implies. Because the thing with the previous era is that the general public is unaware of the real magnitude of the Honkai. In a world where Congress calls anti-entropy into justifying their reasons for housing to their knowledge a potentially dangerous being, even a random citizen from Ark City can easily identify that Kiana is a Hersher. Whereas someone back from the previous era not only doesn't know such a thing even exists, any information they receive were often downplayed or withheld outright by Moth, the sole organization in charge of dealing with this threat, and one who seemed to have complete control over the flow of information going to the public. This may be the reason why someone outside Moth like Sue couldn't come up with a cure for the disease despite his best efforts, but whatever the reason might be, this failure to save his patients would eat away at him. The medical record photo that Sue keeps around is to remind him of the people that he failed to save. He even tried joining Morph to help find a cure but was initially rejected. He eventually joined after going through his own trial. It's also here that he saw what Kevin was up to all these years. What we learn from these events is that it reinforces the idea of the weight Sue carries with him. The patients he failed to save, his director along with the victims whose body was used to create the cure for when he himself caught the disease. After avoiding death, Sue joined Moth and shortly became a mantis just in time for many exciting events, such as being bait for the 8th Hershers so the Hersher disposal can do their damn job, or maybe stopping your friendly neighborhood researcher from blowing up her own lab. There's this one time Mobius tried to fully take over the Honkai beast inside herself, but then got Uno reverse and got herself taken over by the beast instinct, becoming what's called the First Institute incident. What the hell is even there? Sue had to do a dive bomb maneuver similar to that scene from Princess Connect where Hasune had to rescue Shiori through her subconscious mind or something. He could do this because his mantis surgery allowed him to use mental acrobatics taken from a peacock Honkai beast which he could turn himself into if the situation calls for it. Some of its most notable powers are the Fawn's enchantment from Minecraft. A couple of people was also present like Hua who walks right in only to get friendly fired by Sue and Sakura who basically sneezed on Mobius at the end to defeat her because Sue did most of the heavy lifting already. Anyway, this is getting off topic, so back to Sue. His decision making is strictly about saving lives rather than the more sacrificial style of Kevin. This is especially true in the latter half of the previous era, when plans for the new era were being drawn up because they realized that they may not win. Sue was initially assigned Project Stigma, which understandably upset at him, but Kevin got his back and takes Stigma for himself. Sue was transferred to Valuka, which is using the second divine key to observe the multiverse for ways to defeat the Honkai, as I mentioned at the start. Sue's plan was to finish Valuka before Kevin goes sacrificing people for stigma. But as anyone that read the second key manga can tell you, that didn't go quite as planned. Kevin is getting impatient, but remember that personal letter from May that Sue keeps around? What the letter basically said is to have Sue stop Kevin from doing anything crazy and stop him, he did. You see, during his time in the second Divine Key, Sue foresaw his possibility of fighting Kevin and dying. So that's probably why he came up with the trap him in the sea of Quanta plan. 
Sue planned to go down along with Kevin, but Kevin, in a rare act of compassion, stopped his attack midway and yeeted Sue back into the real world, where he would continue to observe more possibilities. Whether or not he made the right choice that day will be validated when he met Duandal, where in her illusion, she showed that she and Rita are best friends, am I right? <laughs> anyway, Sue passed the important information he had to Otto, which would play into kickstarting the Colliston arc we saw in recent memory. After a long life, Sue peacefully passed away. Just kidding. After he probably died, he got transported into a mysterious plane with a being that claims to have authority over the Honkai itself. What this thing even is, is a question that I at the moment cannot answer. So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching today's video. The next episode will be about Eden, who will be coming next update. So stay tuned.